We turned this house from dated to fabulous. Let's get started. This house was a labor of love. We went from a dated bedroom retreat area and we transformed it into something that is wonderful. Actually, we started with Wayne's coating for the backside of the headboard. I wanted to give her something a little bit more glamorous. I absolutely love the way that this bedroom turned out with the Wayne's coating. This particular client loves Serena and Lily, so we added that element. This beautiful tray that you see on the bed is Serena and Lily. The duvet cover is Serena, and the Euro shams are Serena and Lily. I wanted to bring in some elements of the gold and the gold lighting that you see next to the bed was just the ticket that we needed in front of the white wings coating. Those are operated with a dimmer switch next to the bed. And what I love about this is the jute rug that you see right now on the floor, that color break, that tan that you have in here against the blue and the white, it is just the perfect color just to break up all of the blue and white. Absolutely love that detail. Can we talk about the nightstands with the white and finding a top that has a wood top over there? And listen guys, you don't have to always get rid of all of your furniture. This dresser belonged to the client previously and she wanted to keep it because it had sentimental value. And it worked in the new space. We did keep the dresser so that she can still have a sentimental value and thoughts as to whatever that dresser brings to her. Can we talk about the drapery? Tying in the white with the blue and having it two-tone was absolutely perfect. Giving you guys a close-up of the light fixtures. It's just simplistic, but it's elegant and it's just classy. It's just a lantern and it has a champagne gold and the three lights are inside of it, but it's the right color for the blue and the yellow. It is simply lovely. I absolutely love the fact that there is a retreat area to the side of the bedroom and I just dressed it up as a living room retreat area. And since blue's her favorite color, we're bringing in the blue again, but I'm switching the tones to a sky blue. I'm matching that with that beautiful Chesterfield sofa and pattern in this uh, retreat area. Absolutely love the wallpaper. And then we've got pattern on the rug, but it all works because the patterns are similar colors and bringing it, breaking it up a little bit with some black, the black and gold light fixture in the ceiling and just making it so chic and modern for this client. Still adding in additional seating for the blue swivel chair. Can we talk about the pillows and the pattern that you see on this pillows with that blue and white and just a center pillow that's a fun pillow. Uh, adding a slogan on there and it says something about her being the best grandma in town. Just keeping things very simplistic but elegant in this space. I can't say enough about this wallpaper. I think it is so gorgeous. And I know it's just me, 
But if anybody, if you guys think that the wallpaper is gorgeous, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think as well. This Serena and Lily serving tray, it's just perfect. It matches the bed headboard. It's the right color and I just put a few flowers on there. You can have tea, you can use that for your dinner. It is pretty sturdy guys, so keep that in mind. It just works in the space with the original furniture. This primary bathroom was a labor of love, but it is a masterpiece. We've got porcelain tile all over the walls and it's mixed with marble inset, two different marbles inside of the shower area alone. So you have three different tiles and it just works. It breaks it up from being completely boring. Um, and then I've mixed it with the actual chrome shower fixtures. And it's really simplistic. Uh, she just wanted a handheld shower, but I did want to give her texture because that texture is what makes it interesting and it's never boring. And you can do that yourself, guys, with the three different tiles as long as you keep the color palette pretty, pretty light and neutral. And that's what you see here. Take a look at this picture window. Absolutely love this window and glazing out, looking at the beautiful garden and enjoying your soaking tub. In this particular tub as well, we've got the chrome faucets, the standalone, and then we're mixing that tile again with a pattern tile on the floor. Absolutely stunning. She totally loves everything about this bathroom. It is all that she has looked for and more. The countertops are quartz made to look like marble, which is so perfect in a bathroom or a kitchen island. Guys, look into that as a material that substitutes the marble because you can have the look of marble without the maintenance. Now, let's talk about this chandelier that we dropped in this bathroom. It is the unexpected thing and it is a sizable chandelier, but I wanted to add and give her that Tiffany effect as well. In this project, we have 10 foot ceilings and oftentimes it's difficult when you want to have drapery window treatment covering um, so I decided to put her drapery on motorized rods. And so all she does is hit a button and the drapery for the bedroom, the drapery for the bathroom area, it just slides completely down with the touch of a button. So these are the things that you guys wanna take notes and think about you know, for your own projects or if you're doing something for your client just to make it a lot simplistic, a little bit more simplistic and easy maintenance for them to take care of. In this front bathroom area, originally, remember guys, it had the red on the walls. We took all of that out, painted out the cabinets, gave her a quartz 
countertop, a new mirror, new lighting, and completely gutted the shower area. And it is amazing. I love the different faucets, the wallpaper that was added, giving it an element of just traditional flair. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the tile on the back wall has a scroll pattern within the tile love that and then we just kept the side walls very simple very light and added the shower glass and instead of having a basic shower door that you open I channeled this and then we have something that's more of a contemporary flair The shams are custom. <gasps> and these are gorgeous too. Oh, and this I love too. I love everything. It's just gorgeous. It does not even look like my room. What happened to it? Michelle, I love it. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at these. Are these velvet? Yeah. What are these? Oh, they're gorgeous. It just is so beautiful. I'm just overwhelmed, really. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's a... You like it, guys, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a beautiful closet. Oh, this is just overwhelming, really. It's just beautiful. How about this? Oh, it's got a remote. Ah! How was the experience? How was the experience? Yes. Fantastic. Is it? so beautiful, I'm just overwhelmed. It's gorgeous. Everything is beautiful. And I'm never leaving this room. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're still taking it all in, but uh, so far, what is your favorite part? Oh, I don't think I could pick a favorite. I think just the overall, everything, the wallpaper, the, the bedding, the draperies, the lighting, I, it's, it just all goes together beautifully. It's just fantastic. I love it. Uh, and then last question, uh, do you feel like she really captured your personality in the Absolutely. design? Absolutely. I, I feel like that I showed her, I think, one picture and I got this. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky am I? It's beautiful. Thank you so much.